Hey, it's Holly. In today's video, I am showing you another awesome set from 1997. This is the 1997 Daisy Dressmaker. Um, this is just another one of those really cute fairy uh, floral themed sets and I can't wait to show you around. So let's get started. Today's video is the 1997 Daisy Dressmaker. Um, this is so cute. So I showed Rose Cottage a few weeks ago and I really enjoyed that set and I was happy to get my hands on this. This is in that same sort of collection of these fairy themed play sets that came out in 1997. And this one is also pretty darn cute. I like that they have these fabric flower petals on it. It's just a, a sweet little detail. But something that's really beautiful about this one is this beautiful sort of iridescent glitter that they've put in the middle. I noticed a lot of the later sets had much smaller logos on them. Um, I don't know if I love that so much, but uh, it does suit this compact because it's right in the center of the flower. And then of course there is another one of those creepy little bumblebee things on here. Um, so this is also kind of similar to that Rose Cottage set because it will fold open for us. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So it opens up like this. And the set is kind of similar to a traditional poly compact in the sense that you could play with it open like this, but it is kind of still meant to be played at at that 90 degree angle like the original compact. So when you're playing with it, it would in theory be this shape. So there is a front entrance, a main area, and then the upstairs. So let's start at the front today. Um, this is one of those sets where they've used a lot of glitter but there is a very glittery entrance here. These beautiful sunflower doors and they're curved and that's on purpose, they're beautiful. So those open up into the sides and then you'll see that there's a nice little flower detail here. Beautiful stones, grass, flowers, and then just more floral elements leading up these steps. So really that idea of a little fairy nook in the woods. This is meant to be a seamstress uh, set in a way. So the again, the set is called Daisy Dressmaker. Um, so it's a dressmaker inside of a flower. <laughs> Very cute idea. So the steps then come down into this main area. So in here, there are some seats that are also flowers. There is some fabric on the ground. We'll come back to this piece in a moment. There's a table that has scissors and it looks like, you know, they're working on a sewing pattern, um, which also appears to be on a flower pedestal. So really working with that flower theme all the way throughout. And you can see on the sides, there's glitter and this leaf effect. Then coming up these steps, this is where the compact would then be at that 90 degrees. And um, interesting use, I find that this is a very pastel set, which um, is nice. It um, feels very on brand for this Polly Pocket era for me. But uh, this really hot pink sticker kind of throws me. Aside from that, everything else kind of makes sense. So again, more floral elements underneath. You can see that there is a flower here. And this is where the person that is coming for their dress would try the dress on. There is a dress hanging on the wall there right next to a beautiful grandfather clock that appears to also have a flower in it. Um, and then this petal folds down into a bed. So it's a little place for her to have her nap. So I guess she also lives here. Um, and an armoire behind there. This turns and again note another flower detail in there so the person that's trying on their dress can 
have a look at it in the mirror at all angles. Um, I really do love this though. I'm, I'm not, if you've seen, <laughs> if you've seen my video on the, um, what's it called? Gosh, Starshine Palace, the one that looks like a perfume bottle. I was kind of upset about the bed that folded down because I, I don't like that it's just not supported. Um, it just seems really easy to break. Then again, this one's not, so I can't really complain, but I'm sure that a lot of them probably are for that reason. It's just easy for that to become broken. Um, but I do love this bed because it's got these beautiful little flower details inside it as well, which is quite sweet. So that is what the interior of the playset looks like. Now the table in the middle will fold open. So it folds open into a full table and then there is a meal here so she can entertain. So really sweet, but it just folds that one way as far as I can tell. Yes. Uh, so closed and open. So that is the set itself. It came with three pieces. So it comes with Polly and Polly is not in fairy form. She is just visiting her fairy friends. So she is wearing beautiful sort of periwinkle skirt with a pink top. She has a floral headband on um, and lovely pink shoes. She's got that sort of Pollyville curled hair. And I love the way that she's posing. You can tell that she's meant to be trying on a dress and kind of uh, feeling it, you know? So that's the figure. Uh, the second figure is um, debatable. <laughs> the Only Polly Pocket website um, refers to her as both Lily and Daisy, but this is the fairy. So she is the dressmaker. Um, I would guess that what she's holding is probably meant to be a tape measure. So like one of those long flexible tape measures for uh, taking measurements for clothing purposes. So draped around behind her neck and then coming back into her hand, which is a very cute detail. She has a little petal, like little leaf on her head as a hat of little um, flower fabric skirt, which is attached to her uh, sort of turquoise leg leggings, green shoes, just a really sweet figure. I love this. And then the last piece is this skirt. So the skirt that comes with it is, um, it's quite rigid. It's really interesting. So it's a purple plastic skirt, but it has also those petal elements coming off of it, much like daisies. And um, it's, again, it's quite rigid and solid, but the idea with this one, if I move these out of the way for a moment, is that it will sit on here. So then that's where she is working away, tailoring the dress. And then when Polly wants to try it on, she can either stand there. If you've ever had your clothes like um, tailored, then you'll know what I mean, like standing up on a stool and having it tailored to you. Or if we take this off, we can put this right onto Polly and it fits her a little bit better that way it becomes um, mostly flush with her foot there, but that she can then stand on top of here and uh, twirl and check it out. So it's, <laughs> it's so sweet. I think that is just a very cute little detail. So that's the set. Um, it's not huge, it's quite small. And I mean, if you compare it to the size of my hand, you can see that it is, quite small and totally fits in my hand but at the same time when it folds open like that it feels a lot larger and I don't know what it is about the set but I really like this one I really like this one and I think it's because it has a very defined purpose and I really like the ones that are kind of shops or services so the idea of having a seamstress or a tailor is really cute. Um, I like that. I, I don't know what it is about that, but I really like that. Um, just one more thing to mention over in the corner here. I missed this. There's a little side table in there, which is also quite cute, but a really beautiful, well done set. Um, and I, I like that it is a compact. I like that it really 
folds into that shape. Um, that's what I really like about the original, like 89 through 93-ish compacts, the just classic ones, is that they have that defined shape and um, it's really easy to store them and, and take care of them. And I do feel that I could say the same about this. The Polyville sets and the other sets that are, you know, just different 3D shapes, I find are just a little bit more difficult to store. Um, and though I do love them, of course I love them. I, I like the way that these are packaged up, if that makes sense. <laughs> So um, that's the set. I'd love to know, as always, what is your favorite part of this set? Um, I love this table. I think the table is a really neat detail. I also love the bed, even though it does give me mild anxiety. Um, I do love the bed. I'm just making sure nothing else opens here. Um, I did not have any of these sets uh, from like 96 onward as a child so it's nice to have these in my collection now but they're brand new to me like I've I've never seen these before so it's wonderful to have them so I would say which for me it's it's either the pedal bed or the sewing table but I will say that this figure uh, they just knocked this out of the park I think she is so cute I love <laughs> little leaf hat she just looks like a little tulip her little daisy skirt um and she's in great condition i really have to say like she's she's lovely so as always let me know in the comments what's your favorite part of this set the 1997 daisy dressmaker <laughs> Okay, again, tell me what your favorite part of this is. This is just so cute. This this whole thing is really, it's so cute. And there's a few, you know, um, dress shops, um, you know, that kind of theme throughout Polly Pocket, especially Polyville has a dress shop and a bridal salon. But I appreciate that this one is almost more of like a tailor or a seamstress rather than just a store. So I think that that's very cute. It also kind of reminds me of that um, Sleeping Beauty scene. Sleeping Beauty is my favorite Disney movie of all time, um, but where the three fairies are trying to make the dress for Princess Aurora um, or Briar Rose at the time. And <laughs> just the idea of this tiny little fairy dress shop kind of reminds me of that. So um, I love this. I think it is so cute, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, again, this is such an awesome time for the channel. We're now into our second year and I am so thrilled. And I just want to say again, thank you so much to everyone that has been here, especially people that have somehow been here since almost the entire time I have been here, the beginning of March uh, 2021. Uh, but I'm, I'm really so happy with this community and I really do appreciate all of your support. So Thank you to everyone that is currently subscribing. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. Um, it's free, you don't have to pay anything. Just hit the subscribe button. You'll get notified when I have new videos coming out, uh, when I do premieres. So it's a great way to just support the channel without really having to do much of anything else. Uh, if you're on social media, please feel free to come follow along with social media too. I am on TikTok, Facebook, <laughs> And Instagram, Instagram being the one I am best at. Uh, but if you just look up Pocket Vintage Toys, you'll find me. But that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.